Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to read emails from the email engine. So in this video I am using a gmail server to read the emails email from my created gmail account. So in uh, in Jupyter uh, we will get a uh, mail reader sampler by default when you install your Jupyter no need of external plugins to get uh, read emails. So the sampler name is mail reader sampler. So how to add the mail reader sampler. Right click on the third group, go to sample, add sampler and you will be having a mail data sampler. So we have a mail data sampler here. Uh, in this mail, in the mail data sampler, we have few things to configure here. So we have different type of protocol to do email. So I'm, I selected IMAPS. So you can go with the POP3 or IMAPS as per your email engine. So if your email engine supports POP3, then we need to mention the POP3 and the POP3 uh, host name. Uh, pop protocol host name to get to get connection with your main server if there is any port uh, other than the default port for the respective protocol then we need to mention a port number as it's a default port for the imaps uh, protocol i have not mentioned any port number here and there is a username password uh, parameters by username in the test plan and this is a password of my uh, uh, gmail this is the i'm fetching the folder i'm fetching the email from the inbox folder so if you want to go with a specific folder like spam, sent or different folders you created in your mail engine then you can begin to mention the folder name here and number of messages you want to retrieve. So I want to retrieve the first message for the first message I receive when I create my Gmail account. Okay. So these are the other details. So if you want only fetch headers then you will get only header information on the content of the email. Uh, delete message from the server. Once you once you receive this email, if you want to delete from the server, then you can select this box. Uh, store the message using IMRO. So if you click this, you need to get a one more uh, box to save the content in your local folder. Okay. And I'm using uh, Start TLS. So I'm using Start TLS uh, security instead of SSL. So as per your server configuration, if you are already enabled TLS, go for the TLS. If you want to use SSL and it is configured on the email server, then go with the SSL codes up to you. And uh, uh, I'm allowing all certificates to uh, as a trusted to uh, avoid security exception. Okay, so now I'm reading the only one email from my inbox. So just run it. Yeah, I got my email. This is the first email which I got it when I create my Gmail account. So this is the first account which I, I created. So if for multiple uh, multiple mail, so just mention the uh, details here. So just just mention the first thing. So I'm something like I have given uh, emails. Let's run it again. Let's run it again. This is a previous sampler and this is a latest sampler. Because we have only seven emails final totally. Uh, not seven nine emails. So this is high, which I made as a template, uh, simple uh, high test with this email. So which I got it from uh, detail, details. This is another email. So we have all the emails. So this is how we need to use our email engine, friends. So to read your email or to send an email from your email engine. So if there is any whitelisting required, then we need to. Uh, and whitelisting of your IP, your IP from where you are sending or reading your emails using JMeter or any other software, any other framework or software. So you need to whitelist your public IP in your email engine. And for the Gmail, especially for a Gmail, so we have another feature in Gmail like uh, make it secure, less secure app, make access to a less secure app. So that you need to enable to less secure apps to uh, go with the any any software or any uh, automation or anything you want to work with the gmail gmail accounts and you need to disable you need to enable the less secure access to work with the gmail ids so this is friends thanks for listening